Panama Virtual Field Trip by Emma Martin. First, we will go to the physical section of the project. First, we will be talking about the Baru Volcano, or in Spanish, Volcán Baru. The Baru Volcano is Panama's highest peak. If you are on top of Mount Baru, you can see both the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. Mount Baru is still active to this day. Next, we will talk about the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal is a 48-mile ship canal. The Panama Canal connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. The Panama Canal is a key to trade. Lots of cruise ships, such as this one, go through the Panama Canal every day. Now for the cultural part of the project. First, we will talk about Gotha's Memorial. Gotha's Memorial is in remembrance of George Washington Gotha. Gotha was the chief engineer of the building of the Panama Canal. You will find Gotha's Memorial in front of the Panama Canal Administration Building. If it wasn't for Gotha, the Panama Canal would not be here today. Next, we will talk about Casco Viejo. Casco Viejo is one of Panama's reflections on culture and history. It is one of the places where Panama declared their independence from Colombia. In Spanish, Casco Viejo means old town. This is what it would look like if you were actually inside the Casco Viejo. And last but not least, the historical part of the project. First, we will be talking about the United States invasion of Panama. The United States invasion of Panama was between Panama and the United States. The United States invaded Panama because Panama was not letting the U.S. use the Panama Canal. Ends up that the U.S. had won and Panama lost and they got to use the Panama Canal. Next, we're going to talk about who found Panama. The person who found Panama was Rodrigo de Bastidas. There are many statues of Rodrigo in lots of places, like a museum and this statue outside. Here's a map of where Rodrigo traveled. Thanks for watching!